everyone welcome back to another video uh, today guys instead of a routine I'm gonna bring to you a mobility and flexibility routine especially for uh, the squats so for the uh, movement that you need to have with the spine and the hips and, uh, and yeah mainly because of the fact that I myself I'm trying to improve my mobility and flexibility uh, and therefore yeah why not I decided to just made a video about it. Uh, to increase, especially the thoracic extension, uh, you're gonna need pretty much a bar. Uh, this is a stick from a broom, but it could be anything that you could just take it and hang it uh, above of you. And uh, the thoracic part of the spine is pretty much the part going from like here, so down the neck, right, until pretty much half of the, half of the back. So what happens many times is where is that if you don't have enough extension in the thoracic spine, when you go lower into a squat or into whatever kind of leg exercise that you're doing, if you don't have enough enough extension, you're gonna have to you're gonna start falling forward with the shoulders with all your thoracic spine. You're gonna start rounding, and therefore you're gonna start rounding everything until you go to the hips and you're gonna start posteriorly tilting the hips and you're gonna uh, be in a bad position for your uh, low back especially because you're gonna start uh, creating first of all some issues for the spine itself you may risk some uh, hernia hernias uh, because of the fact that the the kinetic change the kinetic chain is not going as it should on the bones but because you're rounding everything you're falling down here, you're rounding everything, is actually moving bad, bad. So uh, you may have problems. I'm not gonna just explain it all. And, uh, and as well, this, so improving the flexi so the extension of the thoracic spine means as well that you're gonna improve overall your posture because many times when we do every everyday activities, we write or we, stay on the computer or we read or we do stuff we are always have this rounded position you know closed doing something close to us and instead of opening it up and trying to extend so uh, I think um, these exercises you, you could do them pretty much uh, okay you could do them pretty much like every day if you want because it's just mobility and flexibility stuff and uh, does not require that every time you do that, you then, you then need to work out. And so you take pretty much anything, a stick, whatever, on top of you. And you have your arms straight and your arms above you. So not behind, so not behind like this, not in front of you, but just um, like in a straight line, right? Like this. And then, uh, you need to have some surface pretty much 90 degrees uh, so that you know that you have reached the a correct depth and you don't need to go any lower uh, so in that way you can as well uh, do not do the butt wing what is called the butt wing that is again a lack of extension of the spine or maybe sometimes a tightness of on the hamstrings or any or other issues uh, but normally it's because of the lack of extension of the of the spine tightness of the hamstrings maybe also some pelvic tightness as well that may cause it so if you have something that you can know for example well 90 degrees boom I'm done I don't need to go any lower that's better and so you take anything you know you place it above your your uh, your head and then your main thing is trying to keep your arms in the same position as you're trying to squat so you start from that imagine I'm I'm uh, standing up so you start from this position as you go lower 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 and you start actually being in the bottom position try to don't fall forward so don't do this no because this is exactly the lack of extension so you need to actually try to lift your your um, chest up 
and trying to keep the arms up and out like this and you're gonna feel all the muscles in the spine all contracting you may feel also a discomfort but that is good because that means that those muscles are not used to train to actually extend the spine and they may they may be weak so um, like this and you're trying to keep your arms pretty much fix it and uh, of course trying to extend as much as the not only thoracic spine but as well the lumbar spine and in all the movement so just showing you here the whole movement you're pretty much this right boom you try to keep here a little pause at the bottom while you know that you have reached 90 degrees so that's why it's good to use a chair or uh, something always trying to keep your arms straight above your head and, uh, and everything extended you should feel like all the muscles here in the lumbar spine all contracting and trying to keep everything extended and then from here after a brief pause you try to push again so you go down and up again down up again and uh, this thing so doing this exercise is gonna uh, provide you with a lot of uh, flexibility it's gonna your muscles in the spine especially are gonna learn how to extend and how to stay extended as you're going down with the squat so not rounding not falling down but staying up chest up arms out and staying in this position you know like this and being able to actually do many reps like this and uh, yeah and as well you're gonna feel as well that you're maybe doing for the first time pushing I mean having the knees correctly placed because many people um, they have their knees like too forward right or they have their knees uh, too back so if you have your knees too like back if you're, if you're not squatting uh, correctly but you have your knees too back see that automatically I'm falling forward with my chest because otherwise I will be falling uh, back so that's why it's important to have the knees in the correct position not too forward but not too back at the same time so correct position just pretty much at the level of the toes and as well trying to the main focus of the exercise is not doing reps so trying to do like 100 reps but trying to maintain the arms straight arms above your head so not in front not too in the back and uh, and trying to the main focus is trying to keep the spine extended so while you're here extended 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 and you're trying to keep it keep it keep it and then pausing at the briefly at the bottom 90 degrees so don't go too low otherwise you're gonna start butt winking and uh, that is gonna nullify pretty much all your effort and then going up again so uh, that's pretty much the the, the exercise that uh, I've started doing I've started doing and uh, and I can already feel as you saw there very very uh, capable of keeping the extension at the beginning I was it was very hard to even maintain the arms straight I was like just like falling down as I was going down in the squat and uh, but if you keep trying you know slowly your muscles are gonna be get stronger and you're gonna be able to actually stand extend and extend more and as well your hips uh, flexibility is going to improve because of the fact that if you can keep the spine in a correct position throughout the movement maybe at the beginning you can't keep the spine corrected because you have a tightness in the in the hips but as you're improving the control of the spine automatically you are improving the flexibility of the in the hips so you're doing two things at once and uh, as well another thing that I'm doing is I'm strengthening the hamstrings so very important uh, not only stretching the hamstrings 
because if you just stretch them uh, you may elongate them too much and they may become also weak and you don't want to have weak hamstrings because otherwise you're going to have a lot of other problems and imbalances in the hips you want to stretch them but at the same time you want to strengthen them so you may have more flexibility more mobility or i don't have a lot of it so that's why i'm doing it you know so stretching and then strengthening them so always of course strengthen them first so do reps uh, like i showed you the other time uh, where you're laying just like this you're lifting your butt and then you're moving the heels up and down in that way it's very important because the hamstrings learn how to work with the glutes because they normally they like to work together so uh, that's a great uh, way to um, train them and after that do some you know uh, extend um, stretching of the hamstrings but as athletic says don't do them with a posteriorly tilted hips because otherwise you're gonna vanify pretty much half of the job of the hamstrings because they don't only flex the knee but they also um, posteriorly tilt the hips so if you wanna truly, truly stretch them as athletic says so this is not something I have made up uh, I've always copied because I always learn from others so you sit pretty much in a position and you try to anteriorly tilt so by just trying to um, extend the spine you are actually anteriorly tilting the hips and then you are um, you are trying to also I mean straighten your legs and uh, straight leg like this anteriorly tilted and then you're trying to like pull and you can already tell like a super stretch because of the fact that you are anteriorly tilted because if you would be posteriorly tilted like this see that it's a lot easier for me to go because of the fact that I have less tension because I have the hips posteriorly tilted so the hamstrings are closer so the two parts of the hamstrings where it attaches are closer so the muscle is less tense so instead if I anteriorly tilt the pelvis like this and then I try to reach forward, that is where I can feel the, the, the hamstring and that's pretty much the exercise I've been doing, you know, like this. But always stretching after strengthening, so in that way you can become more flexible but at the same time you're not losing strength, so the muscle keeps strong. And that's it, that's all I'm doing for improving my flexibility, especially of the of the hips and uh, the spine and uh, pretty much it has uh, I've uh, improved so I'm pretty happy about that and, uh, and yeah hope you enjoy see ya bye bye